The commander gave us the order. He was the one who started to do it. We raped and we destroyed everything in our path. When we rape, we feel free. These recent quotes from soldiers from the Democratic Republic of Congo are a heartbreaking reminder that rape remains as a weapon of war and that women continue to suffer when soldiers and their commanders are not brought to justice. The International Criminal Court, the ICC, was created to end impunity for international crimes such as genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity by prosecuting the most senior perpetrators if a country was unable or unwilling to. But after 11 years, the court has convicted only one person. So how can the ICC, with its limited capacity, help deliver justice for victims of sexual violence? Earlier this year, I interviewed victims, prosecutors, judges, and government officials in Colombia and Guinea, where hundreds of citizens have suffered crimes against humanity or war crimes, including rape. But in both countries, the governments are reluctant to prosecute because the most senior perpetrators are still politically powerful. While the ICC is not investigating or prosecuting individuals in Colombia or Guinea, the threat that it could is supposed to promote local prosecutions because governments want to control the process. The ICC has visited both countries to meet with government and civil society to examine the local prosecution process and to share expertise. Through my research, I've discovered that, surprisingly, this engagement works even though in practice there is no real threat, the ICC will initiate its own prosecutions because of limited resources. In both Colombia and Guinea, lawyers told me without ICC pressure, there would be no prosecutions at all. But victims of rape told me that their crimes had not been prosecuted despite ICC engagement. My research is significant because it demonstrates how the ICC can do more to encourage local prosecutions of international crimes. More specifically, my data demonstrates that the ICC needs to focus on sexual violence crimes in its dialogue with national governments to help persuade them to deliver justice so that soldiers and their commanders learn they will lose their freedom for their crimes. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, before we announce the winner of the Aspire Award, once again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the hard work and effort that you guys put in. It must have been amazing how many times you guys looked in the mirror and goes, is it three minutes yet? Is it three minutes yet? <laughs> they were all very motivating and inspiring. Thank you. It was undoubtedly an incredibly hard challenge and quite a daunting task to ask, ask high school students to judge such a highly academic um, team of competitors. The way we came to the conclusion was to give each speaker a, a mark of 15, five marks for communication, five marks for comprehension, and five marks for engagement. And the Aspire Award goes to a person who brought up the importance of providing international justice in regards to sexual victims in order to prosecute other major criminals. Her topic was very moving and well presented. A massive congratulations to Amarita Kapoor.